Efforts to restore the critically endangered Taiwanese salmon are bearing fruit. Conservationists are delighted that the population of the national fish is now at a record high, over 12,000. Now you can watch the comings and goings of the fish and learn about their daily life through a video live stream produced by Sheba National Park. Cameras installed in the river allow the public to watch the fish through every stage of their lives. The Taiwanese salmon is a national treasure. It hatches in the water and gradually grows bigger, finally becoming sturdy enough to swim in shoals through the rivers, hunting for food. Here at Shiba National Park, conservationists celebrate this project as one of their proudest. You can watch the salmon cam on your own phone by scanning the QR code. They're so fat, we can watch it on our phone. You can't see them with the naked eye, but using the QR code, you can see what's actually going on. The best place to admire the Taiwanese salmon up close is at Qi Jia Wan River in Wuling Farm. Wooden platforms are there for visitors, but many come a long way to see the fish, only to be thwarted by the elements. Chiaba <laughs> National Park rangers in full diving gear go into the river to set up film cameras. They want to record changes on the riverbed and observe the comings and goings of the salmon. As a side effect, we get this great footage of the critically endangered fish in their native habitat. The fish turns into the flow of the river and then swims upstream. So we angle the camera to film from upstream into the middle of the stream. Efforts to restore the Taiwanese salmon are working. Last year, the population reached more than 12,000, a new record. There is salmon at Qijiawan right now, and conservationists are searching for another site for the fish in rivers on Hohuanshan at an altitude of 2,620 meters above sea level.